Hi there, Jeremy Nagel from Nuance Star T here with a quick video on how to have a workflow that will create call logs for you. Someone asked me if there's a way to have just a, a box you can tick and it will log a call right away rather than having to click on add a call and type in the information. Might be a little bit faster. So I've added a checkbox into the leads module and the contacts module. And now I'm going to create a workflow that will, when that box is ticked, will automatically create a call log in the lead or, or connected to the lead or the uh, contact, whichever is appropriate. So I'll go to automation and create a workflow when Zoho loads. So I'll create a new rule. I'll do it for leads first. Create call log. I'll base it on a field update. When that box is ticked, so add call log. That wasn't the right one. Hit next. Whenever the criteria is met, and then we will call a custom function. Write our own. We'll make it. Add call log. Do the same thing here. Get the lead ID. Turn on free flow scripting mode. So we'll do this. We'll get the lead. So we'll do so dot CRM dot get record by ID. Leads module lead ID. So we've got that. And then we want to add a new call log. So let's create a map. Like that. And then we'll say call log object dot put. Uh, let's see, what are the actual criteria in a call log? We look in activities for that. See what it has. I think it's probably got a subject and a time. Let's see. If I add a new call. Yep. So we've got subject, call type, call details, and related to. So we'll do subject, get the lead name, lead get that call with lead name and then we want the call type I'm gonna assume that this is for outbound calls in this case I'm I know the person told me about the use case so I'm pretty sure it's mainly for outbound so we'll put that in and then we will want to do related to. For that, I believe it will be SE module and leads. It's a little bit confusing, but for some reason, I don't even know what SE stands for, but it's the related to field. And we will do in the lead ID in there. So let's see. Then we should be able to do equals .cm create record activities. What is it calls? I look at the the documentation actually. Yeah, so we can see it here. We can see that you set the subject, the call type. Call purpose is not mandatory, so we won't worry about that. But SEID and SE module are the bits that you use to relate that call log to the relevant uh, lead. So let's see, I'm not sure whether I insert it in as an activity or as what. I think it would probably be... Yeah, give me a sec. I'll, well, I'll try it as calls and then we'll see if that doesn't work. Then we'll know it's activity. Okay, so we'll see. See if this works. If I try and add a call log to which one would it be? I'll create a new lead for this purpose.
and we'll see if it works. So we've got the lead ID, execute the script. Let's see, it has said that it added correctly, but did it actually add correctly? We will see. So it should go under activities. Oh yeah. So let's see. Put in, yeah, it seems to have worked. I guess we don't have the time of the call, that would be the other thing. Let's see. With the, I guess the created time that may almost serve as the time of the call, but oh yeah, we've got call start time and call duration, so we can put them in as well. Call start time. We'll do so the current time. See if that works. And call duration. We'll just say, I don't know, I don't think that particularly matters. I'll put in the default value of five minutes. How do you even do that? Have to check the documentation again. It's not very clear on how you would do that. Yes, yeah, so you do it minutes and seconds like that, apparently. So I'll do, what, five Oh, like that, and I think I will have to format the date string as what does it want? Year, month, date, hour, minute, second. Like that, I believe. Let's see if that works now. So I'll go back to the lead. Looks like it's not actually getting the correct name either. I'll have to fix that up. Okay, let's see. I've modified the name so that it, it is getting the first name, the last name, and the company as well. We will see whether that works. Let's have a look. What did this one do? Yeah, okay, so it seems to... <laughs> the data is a bit screwed up. But we're getting some there. At least we've got the right call duration and the subject is correct. So I just need to get the date format right and then we should be cooking with gas. Ah, uh, here we go. I always get confused about the date format because it differs between creator, which is what we're working with here. So it would be nice if you could actually just pass in zero.current time, but that doesn't work properly. So I'll try it like this. See whether it works this time. Let's see. Now I'm hoping now we'll have a closed activity. Let's see. Yes, it worked. For some reason it's showing in mm, in the wrong time zone. <laughs> but uh, yeah, maybe that's to that might be something to do with the root script. Anyway, I don't know that you particularly care about the time. It's probably more of the, the date. If you want to get that perfect, I'm sure you can work on that. In your own, I just wanted to show you in general how to make this work. So we've written the custom function. We will save and associate it as a workflow. And then what we should see now is that if I tick the box, add call log, then I should get another call log added in there. Let's have a look. Did it work? Yes, another one is added. So there you go. That could help. Not sure about the time zone issue. The issue with it showing 1.30am instead of 6.30pm. But I guess you've got the modified time there. That would probably tell you the information you need anyway. So final thing that I should do as well is I should probably reset that checkbox after it has been updated, after the call log has been added. So what we'll do, we'll do readobj.put 
the name of the checkbox, what did I call it? Add call log. I want to make that false after, as soon as you tick it, so that you can tick it as many times as you want. So then I will go update response equals 0.cm.update leads lead ID dot to stream lead orange and that should then work. Let's have a look. So if we do that, let's have a look. I'm now expecting add call log to be unticked. There we go. So what you can do then to add a call log, you just click on that and it will add a call log. You can see we've added a bunch there. You couldn't, if you've got deluge capabilities, then you can customize this function to make it do what you want. But I just wanted to show the general approach of how to achieve this. The tricky part is probably relating the call to the lead. And we achieved that by using the SEID and the SE module. If you've got any questions about this, feel free to drop me a line. My website is www.nuance.it. My name's Jamie Nagel, and you can email me by finding my contact details under hire me there.